Now the next news is about Alex. Alex loses 7k followers hours after celebrating 1 million followers and now after losing that, okay, she already gained like thousands of followers again even after losing 7k. Now I'm thinking when this lady came online to announce or celebrate that, the, the people just went back to unfollow her just to make her feel bad. I don't get it. How can you lose 7,000 followers? That is too much. So what happened? Maybe she announced it, she lost 7k. Who are the people? Who do... <laughs> okay guys, so it just came to my notice that I just hit 1 million followers. I don't know what I did to deserve this kind of love and I'm on my way to an event. But I know that we have a lot to celebrate. This 1 million followers will celebrate it. Yes, yes, they did. Nati confirm what I see for worry when I go worry last. Oh my god, you don't understand this guy, Alex. As you just knock one million followers, seven thousand people now on follow the guy, seven thousand people, seven no, seven a bam number. No oh, see, I fear for where I stand. This show people just don't call it. Hate on you like that, seven thousand. When I go worry just now, now, I think they see wish they address yourself. Or um, more, uh, I confirm, see, I carry yash, eh? I carry yash for now, for the Instagram. Now, see, now I'll be finishing, and I'll, I'll, I'll be. Ha! But, anyways, Alex saw that and she reacted to that. She says, it's not about the followers for me, it's about the love. It's overwhelming. This is coming straight from the heart and right now I don't even know what to type. I tried going live earlier but it was getting too emotional for me to handle. I want to, by this medium, appreciate every single person that has contributed in any, in any way to my joy and being right now. My friends, family, frenemies, blah blah blah. So that's Alex appreciating everybody saying it is not because of the followers. It is because of the love that she's getting that she can the fact that she could even get to that point is a blessing okay so um alex went live with this actress anita joseph and she started crying being emotional you know started crying you know happy for the love and everything uh, you would expect people to have pity on her instead it was the other way around people started blasting alex it's, it's funny guys who started blasting Alex? This lady is just fake. Um, some people even blasted Anita Joseph. <laughs> they even blasted Anita Joseph. I love you so much. <laughs> Alex, stop crying. I know. And I, I know. <laughs> and I appreciate everything you've been doing for me. <laughs> okay, here someone says she too they overdo that. That was how she cried for Leo when he was leaving the house and ended up with Toby. This shit ain't real. There's another person who says here, Anita, Anita life don't tire me a big. Anita, until all day, you just want to be noticed by all means. Okay, it's good to show appreciation, but I find this very funny. I must say, okay, she should try and join the Mourners team. Timaya said Two-Face is the only legend in the industry. During this interview with Sound City, Timaya made this known, saying Two-Face is the only person that that could be described as a legend okay legendary do you agree do you do you agree like in this new generation we're not we're not talking about people like fela and we know those ones are you know like we're talking about this new generation what do you think about it do you think it's just two faces is it okay for us to just you know say that two faces is the only you know living legend that we have now here is what Timaya said during this interview with Sound City FM. In this part of the world, many artists 
when they get to 10 years they start shouting i'm a legend legendary to me in this industry the only person that can call himself a legend is two-faced the others shouldn't even if people call me a legend i don't like to be seen like one so guys what do you think about this do you think two-faced has done enough to be called a legend oh okay fine if you believe that two-faced is a legend what about other people you know they have been in the industry for quite some time and we're still talking about them do you think it's okay to call these people le a legend guys let us talk in the comment section below i think a few days ago yesterday um chloe bb Ninja chloe shared a post this time yesterday i brought my brother's car to my event because my now former car is a mess and dead he was feeling reluctant to give me his key and i said i oh please i will soon buy a car and it won't be the nonsense i've been having he laughed and said okay madam scammer i rushed back to drop the car and cut off my phone got a call from the king of football obago that i should come and see something behold god used him to bless me with his new baby lord today i pray for this man that may he, may he never know sadness down for disability sorrow in life may god always surprise him and his family i'm grateful ps never been surprised before this one hook me obafemi martin's got her this huge present okay this car okay and um you know come and see something is there some kind of relationship though just have this gift you know we are, we are friends we are just friends you know just have this gift there's nothing no string attached guys do you think that there's something going on or not they can be friends you know they can just be that close that you know he would be willing to give her a car you know but it's just because of the things that we have seen we know so many guys like that or so many relationships that's kicked off like that and um all of a sudden you know they started hanging out and from there they started becoming a thing and let me take some comment here someone says big god unveiled who's next another person here says let him invest though we don't want to hear stories that touch you what i, I have discovered is that most people live fake life if otomoko is not involved now him be saying you forget to tell us say martin's the summer your honey pot hmm what is that honey pot what is our relationship with him is he our husband father brother cousin uncle no she is h-o-e come on not everybody that's been given a car or a gift by some guy is a hoe <laughs> well guys let me know your take in the comment section next news you know this lady that that, that tattooed the video on her chest this lady posted the uh, an unclad picture okay it's, it's even a video okay now when i saw this post the first thing i did was check out the caption the caption says what you guys think about my hair sorry babe i'm not even looking at your hair i'm looking at the body i'm looking at the butt okay i i wasn't even seeing the hair at all i'm not even seeing the face i wasn't even seeing the face i was looking at the box really that's true what people don't know is sometimes you're advertising yourself to other guys to reach out to you you know just for sex you know you're selling yourself in a way uh, but you know you can't totally say that uh, because that might not be our intention our intention might just be to you know draw um, attention to herself and also advertise for people but let's not forget <laughs> a lot of people might be thinking something different moving on it's about whiskey the baby mama we all know what has been happening you know between whiskey and the baby mama how the baby mama came on social media to blast whiskey you know opened the can of worms told us everything that's been going on um you know between herself and whiskey um after saying all that she said she, she feel free now here is a post i feel so free happiness is back on a hundred percent all things have passed away all things have become new through jesus our lord and savior thank you lord for the strength and knowledge um to keep keeping on greatness from here new chapter well 
people have a different thing to say about her post someone says here free call free bong ni you were already free the very first day he had another child with someone else a wise woman would have counted her loss and move on but you just couldn't forget about him and he kept treating you like trash auntie it's better you realize that you deserve to be happy happiness is a choice move on with your life hopefully a man will love you despite your past stop disturbing us on twitter i beg a whole who had a child out of wedlock is calling god she even said she's happy when we sure know how she feels inside a lot of you ladies who think you can trap and hook a man with pregnancy may a poor version of whiskey fall on you uh someone here says jesus don't suffer from head to heaven even in heaven he's still battling with those calling his name wrongly still about whiskey and the baby mama some celebrities have things to say about osagi in my last video i talked about osagi blasting whiskey and also supporting the baby mama which i said is not good enough um casey says that this guy needs to go back to the village that osagi needs to go back to the village that it doesn't worth that position um let's watch this video i think um i don't know who osagi is i just heard of him yesterday and i think um if i want to be modest i think he doesn't deserve to be talking about the entertainment mm. industry he needs to go back to his village mm. because you can't just wake up and start talking about people mm. you know i felt sad when i saw that yesterday mm. you know without taking side i think a lot of people put in work in what they do you can't just wake up and start calling people names True. and using some harsh words even insulting somebody like sonare that i've been there for so long i think he needs to apologize to everybody he's talked about He's wrong. He doesn't even need to talk about entertainment again. He needs to go and sell clothes or something. I'm telling you. Okay. Wood Boy also has this to say about Osagi. He says, I bet these three men on a round table, we just they analyze and criticize artists, like say them be God. I beg. Hope say when I get mirror for house. <laughs> Because in our ugliness, no be here, I swear. If Miro criticizes just one of our face, he goes scattered. <laughs> oh, nah, well done. That's savagery. <laughs> well, that, that's funny. No doubt about that. That's actually funny. Rude boy, this day is just savage and ready to tackle anybody. Just like when Tunde had not posted um, a picture, Rude boy replied by saying, Who you did deceive? And someone replied with boy p square now here we will see you now see your brother they drop better song back to back and you're there being rude to him and his wife <laughs> and he replied i swear the picture resemble your face even after using filter <laughs> well guys let me know what you think about this in the comment section well let's talk about magic for shake okay this you know someone i would call a legend but he has setbacks you know the drugs i don't know if he's still doing drugs but it's getting better and i was taking to rehab and everything but majek fashek said mo most nigerians know what i'm talking about when i mention majek fashek and drugs um majek fashek said is a spiritual problem that after reading a book this started happening to him after reading the book now i want to say first if you need help okay and you really want to change and you're taking drugs you must not blame anything you must agree okay come to terms with yourself that you're ready to do this and you must agree that it is your fault it is no one else's if you put your mind to that state then things will work out i think that's why it took this guy so long to change even after being taken to rehab he said it's not really about rehab that's more than that it's spiritual what, what what went wrong you know a lot of I people stay really and put to together me. what happened to and you what happened to me forget all this rehab you see, EJ, the people you rehab, Capriosa, it's not rehab. It's, it's a mystical shit. It's a spiritual problem. You know, so my brother, EJ, he's a chief priest. He's a priest. He's my uncle. No matter what, you know what I'm saying? You know, he spent money on me. You know, Cap, you know, I don't care about it much, you know. When Capriosa, to rehab, spend a lot of money. Nobody knew how Captain Musa did it. He an idiot. You know, I don't respect that you're here. You're brother. You see, on the ground system. So rehab. 
I have spiritual problem because I read the book I'm not supposed to read. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> so that is it. Do you believe him? Do you believe him? Let me know in the comment section below. Now the next news is about INEC, Davido, Ocean State. Well, we thought that like Adele K would come out victorious. Okay, that's Davido's uncle. But sadly, he was defeated. Before then, you know, before the election in the morning on that day, INEC posted, INEC is disturbed about the reports that accredit accredited media and observers are being arrested or prevented from operating in some polling units. This is being taken up with the security agencies, hashtag Ocean Decide 2018. When I saw this that morning, I knew these people are up to something and whatever they are up to, it's going to be really bad. Even the U.S. Consul, okay, they were there and they faulted the supplementary election in Oshun State. They said that the process was worrisome. The United States, the European Union, and the United Kingdom observe voting at polling stations in Oshun today. We witnessed what appeared to be incidents of interference and intimidation of voters and heard reports of harassment of party monitors, journalists, and domestic observers. We are very concerned by these reports and will be checking with stakeholders to determine the facts. We call on all stakeholders to remain calm. That being said, Divido's uncle lost. He was interviewed recently and he says there was no reborn held that PDP rigged the election. Well, the election is already, it's not a uh, free and fair election. Our uh, state is, uh, is in, in siege. And uh, we are at war in Osho. Uh, they didn't allow my party, the People's Democratic Party, to even vote. It's only the APC people they allow to vote. The security agent, the INEC, they have compromised. So there is no election in Nassau today. So I urge the INEC with immediate effect to cancel to this election and declare me the winner. Because I've already won the election. At last Saturday's uh, election. This is a Kangaroo election with all the uh, security agent intimidating. My, my party faithfuls, all people that want to vote, they drove them. <laughs> it's crazy. It could be recalled that I said that all your state indigene, I mean, Osho state indigene, okay, I reached out to some of them, reached out to me, okay, mm -hmm. some of them in the comment section, why others reached out to me, saying that Adeleke will never become governor of Osho state. You guys remember when I said that? They said Adeleke will never become the governor of Washington State and they are very sure of that. I said, no, it can't be possible. I mean, look at the election. I wasn't even expecting it to come out this way. I mean, look at the result. After the revolt was announced, I said, no way. This guy is going to win. It's obvious that this guy is winning. So definitely this guy will win the rerun. I was wrong, guys. He lost. He, he lost big time. Number four. That... Adeboyega Isiaka Oyetola of APC haven't satisfied the requirements of the law and scored the highest number of votes, is hereby declared the winner and is returned elected. Thank you. That is it. Here, Daily Trust says, we report to the whole world that in Oshun today, no supplementary poll took place. It was all violence and undisguised breaching of all electoral rules. The APC is pushing violently to steal people's mandate freely given by the oppressed people of Oshun State. Why this guy, Boyega Uyitola, was announced winner, majority insist that there was no election in Oshun State. What is your take? Are you an Oshun State indigenous? Let us talk in the comment section below. Do you know more about politics? Let us talk about this in the comment section below. Not just social state indigene. Anybody. The final result says 
APC 255,505 PDP 255,023 SDP 128,053 That is the final result. So sad. I wasn't expecting that. Now, I'm not sure about what happened, but I think if Adeleke is very sure that there was no election in Oshun State, they could go to court. He could win. Who knows? Do you think it's even possible if he sued these people to court? Do you think he could still win the case even if he sued these people to court? Here, someone said to Davido, would you be willing to perform for the people of Oshun State at Uyetola's Thanksgiving party? <laughs> They're making fun of Davido now. Wow. That is where I'm going to hold it, guys. Thank you so much for the support. And we'll see you next time. Peace. Hello, London. My name is Gordon Johnson. I'm here to tell you, you must learn this from a Legosian. There's number one, you can learn tenacity. In spite of everything the Legosian may have gone through, we have learned how to stay focused, stay with your vision, dream your dream, and become someone number two. Never depend totally on technology. Sometimes you have to be intuitive. I tell you the truth, you can put a Lugosian in a desert without a house address. A Lugosian will find his way. Education does not teach prosperity. A Lugosian who is a professor is broke. But a Lugosian who is an illiterate is the one employing the professor. Finally, I would rather a Lugosian learn from a Londoner. I came to this country a long time now. I've not had one car hoot. But in Lagos, hooting is part of fundamental communication.